he's lives in the hearts of many people, and uh, he'll be he'll be missed forever. A New Orleans mom says the city has to do something to secure large blighted structure structures after her son fell to his death inside the old Market Street power plant. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Katie and Sharice are off tonight. The Benton Franklin High School graduate fell five stories after sneaking into the abandoned complex on the river to watch the sunset on Friday. Paul Murphy reports his mother said the death of her shooting star is overwhelming. That's what I look at every night. That's just him in a nutshell. Valerie Walker sat on her front porch in the Treme neighborhood, clutching her son's graduation picture. We didn't just tolerate each other the way some parents and their children do. We were frickin' frack, you know, we were a team. We did everything together. Friday, her son, 18-year-old Anthony Clausen, and a group of friends made their way to the old Market Street power plant in the Lower Garden District and climbed to the roof. They went up to watch the sunset sort of a last hurrah before they all went off to college. But on their way back down, something went very wrong. Anthony was in front of his friend, I guess sort of a girlfriend, and he was testing the platform. And, and he said, it's, it's good. And she said, no, I'm going to go around this way. And the platform he was on collapsed. Clausen fell 50 feet. He died a day later from his injuries. It's sort of a, a freak accident. I mean, he, he was this close to getting out of there. Walker didn't know her son was going to the power plant that night. She says she had an inexplicable premonition something bad was going to happen. I never dreamed it would have been something so personal and horrific and tragic as losing my son in, in such an unfathomable way to, to you know, plunge to his, to his death when he's poised for a, a brilliant life in every way. Clausen graduated from Ben Franklin High School and was headed to LSU on a full scholarship to study chemistry. He wished to use his skills, whatever they might have wound up being, chemistry is a broad field, to, ha to help humanity. Walker is now calling for New Orleans leaders to demand large blighted properties be secured. Another sign of the lack of care of, this, of, this, of the city, of multiple administrations to do something about blight. She says she would have gladly given her life for his in a heartbeat. He was a shooting star. He was going to become a remarkable, remarkable man. And that's just, just that's the real tragedy. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Valerie Walker told us she still hasn't heard from the NOPD or the Orleans Parish Coroner's Office. She's now warning young people to stay away from blighted buildings.